You're losing your mind and it's okay. The French philosopher Diderot once said, Oh, how near are genius and madness. Men imprison them and chain them or raise statues to them. But I don't want to talk about the mad genius. I want to talk about the madness in all of us. That's my view. I believe that the descent of man is the descent into madness. We can never get rid of our madness, only tame it, subdue it and put it on a leash, take it for a walk and then take it to our graves. The man and woman on the street has every right to their madness, every right to carry it with them wherever they go as long as it doesn't harm others. I see the madness every day. I see it on my way to work on the jam-packed London underground. Every day I witness the dead in souls clutching the handrails while being cradled by the gentle locomotion of the train as it feeds the collective persistent lethargy. Of course, they all see my tired soul too. I see it at work where it rears its head quickly when someone manages to crack a joke and we all burst into exaggerated fits of laughter. I see it on the faces of young mothers in the supermarket. I see it in the coffee shop, in the library. I see it in the faces of young and old. I see it in the engaged, the married, the divorced. And I see it in the church and the mosque. I've known people and still know people who have lost their minds, taken leave of their senses and gone full do lally tap. The numbers are growing. We know full well why, but nobody wants to admit it. Nobody wants to slow the procession of progress and nobody wants to be unoccupied because that's when the madness kicks in. The most dangerous thing about free time is the time it gives us to think. God forbid that we should have some terror-inducing existential thought which might just upend us and the world we all live in. So embrace your madness, experiment and be kind to it and make sure it is kind to others. All repressed madness turns into violent resentment. I'm not talking about physical violence, I'm talking about emotional violence too. Go find a quiet corner, an empty park or a field in the dead of the night and howl at the moon or scream at the sunlight. But then come back, we have work to do and a life to live.